Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fraction word problems involving addition. Let's jump into number one, where we have James walked his dog two-fifths of a mile in the morning and one-third of a mile in the afternoon. What fraction of a mile did James walk his dog in total that day? So here, we need to add to find our answer. We need to take the distances, the morning and the afternoon, and combine them in order to find the total distance. So two-fifths of a mile in the morning plus one-third of a mile in the afternoon. Now taking a look at this problem, we do not have a common denominator. So we need to find one in order to add. So we need a common denominator, four, five, and three in order to add these fractions. 15 is going to be the lowest common denominator here between five and three. So let's rename these fractions with that common denominator. So our next step here, is to rename these fractions with that common denominator of 15. And remember, these are going to be equivalent fractions once we rename. So we're not changing the value of our original fractions. Let's start by renaming 2 fifths. We know that 5 times 3 gives us that denominator of 15. So whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do two times three. Two times three gives us six. That's our numerator. Six fifteenths is our renamed fraction with the denominator of 15. Now we need to rename one third. Three times five, gives us that denominator of 15. So whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do one times five. That gives us a numerator of five. So our renamed fraction here is five fifteenths. Now that we have a common denominator, we are able to add. So we do six plus five, that gives us a numerator of 11, and we keep the denominator of 15 the same. And this is the total distance walked that day. James walked his dog 11 fifteenths of a mile. Now 11 fifteenths is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. Let's move on to number two, where we have a chef will be using one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese and three fourths of a cup of cheddar cheese for a recipe. How much cheese will be used in total? The cheeses are being combined into this recipe. We need to find the total by adding. So we need to do one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese plus three-fourths of a cup of cheddar cheese. We do not have a common denominator, so that's what we need to do first in order to add. The lowest common denominator for eight and four is eight. So let's rename both of these fractions with that denominator, and then we can add. So again, our lowest common denominator is eight here, so let's rename these. Let's start with one eighth, which that already has a denominator of eight. So we do not need to rename one eighth. Now for three fourths. Well, we know four times two gives us that denominator of eight. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. Three times two gives us six. So six eighths is our renamed fraction. Now we have a common denominator, so we can add. Let's add the numerators. One plus six gives us seven, and then we keep the denominator of eight. So our answer here, seven eighths. Seven eighths of a cup of cheese will be used for this recipe. That's the total amount of cheese used in this recipe. And seven eighths 
is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. So there you have it. There are a couple of examples of fraction word problems involving addition. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.